So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks ornaments. We're finally looking at them and I'm going to be real with you guys. I now that I'm looking at the ornaments, I think I think the Warlocks probably didn't eat the best. I think the Titan still ate the best and then Hunter and then Titan. Actually, to be, to be fair, I think the Hunter and Titan are both winners because I don't like one of these ornaments. And it's the first one we're going to be looking at, which is for the Sun Bracers. Now, it is unfortunate because I do think it looks cool like it the i love let me just get this out the way it looks cool like all of the geometry looks super cool it looks very draconic which is fitting considering this ornament's name is called okaiser draconum that's a cool name my i guess my annoyance with it is the fact that uh the blue steel doesn't change color so as you guys can see from echoed anger it doesn't change color and it's just kind of irritating I just really don't like the fact that the blue steel changes color, doesn't change color. And the fact that it just even gets even darker in certain shaders is just really annoying. Even with Abyssinian gold, you can see the blue steel there. And I just think that's uh, unacceptable. So I definitely think this is an L because you can't combine this with certain shaders because the blue is just going to throw everything off. I like at this point, I think I would have just preferred if the blue steel just changed the shader to a different like hue or just took the off color because then at that point, it's much easier to use. But because it only takes blue or it just has that blue like just ingrained, it means I will probably never use this ornament unless they changed it. I don't even know if I'm going to pick this up for bright dust because I just don't like it like when you look at the default look of it, it's like, okay, that blue steel's there, but then you go to another shader and then specifically for Echo to Anger, the shit turns so fucking blue. And even for Abyssinian gold, it's just like, ah, uh, very unfortunate. As for the example set, I ended up going for Continuum, um, Continuum, Continuum Alloy. This is a shader that's in Eververse. And the reason I decided to go with this one is because the blue tinge is not as heavy but it's still there, uh, unfortunately. So I'm very annoyed with it because even the Apilos following like skull changes color. Granted, you can still see hues of red, but it still changes color compared to this arm where you can still see the hues a lot better than the red in the skull. So uh, <clears throat> that's why I'm using this shader because I know it's a shader that really just changes everything to whatever it wants. And for me to still see a blue hue for the arms just means that I'm going to skip these arms for sure. Just because, again, I'm not the biggest fan of when an armor piece has a, like a color that doesn't change color just because it not only limits you, but it also just kind of like is very. Uh, how do you say like, I just don't give a fuck to use it is what I'm trying to say. Like, I just kind of get annoyed with it and I'm like, what the fuck ever? I'm not using this. So. I'm, I know I'm going pretty hard on it. It's just very annoying for the look. If you want to take it, it's Apollo's Falling Hood with the Ad Adavastic Idol Vestments. Really cool chest piece. The Dendrite Shimmer Boots, which I think look really cool. And the reason I'm using that is because I wanted to use a, a, a I wanted to use some boots that had some white in there because the Apollo's Falling Crown has white in there and the arms as well. So I wanted some white in there to like really uh, show that there is more white because the bond also the the fetish bond also just has gold on it so i wanted to at least have some white in there so it wouldn't look weird so i do like the example set the example set does look really really cool it's just the fact that i had to go for the shader that changes everything to gold and even then i'm still not happy with it so i definitely will be skipping this ornament the next ornament, though, for Don Chorus is actually really, really cool. It's called the Phoenix uh, Ren Ren Renaissance, and it looks super cool. I actually love how it looks. It's just unfortunate that it's for Don Chorus, and I'm going to be real with you guys. Don Chorus is not a great exotic. Like, no one's using this shit and being like, yo, this was wild. Everyone's like, eh, okay, whatever. Fucking dog water. Usually. Uh, I do think the ornament looks super cool, and to be fair, but like to be frank, the fact that it got this hard of an ornament for its first one, I'm just like, man, that's crazy. Like the fact that it got this hard of an ornament for the first one is just wild. Uh, as for how it shaders, it shaders perfectly. Everything changes color. The glow is also really cool. 
I do wish the eye on the like forehead changed color. That would be really cool. But overall, this ornament's a fucking banger, bro. Uh, Echoed Anger looks super, super fucking cool with it. I'm liking a lot of the colors that I'm seeing. I think Abyssinian Gold looks fucking cool with it as well. Like this, this is just gonna be such a banger of a look. As for the example set, I ended up going for the Advistic Idol Boots, another piece from that set, because I wanted to have like kind of like kind of like an animal vibe, I guess, because there like for me, it just kind of looks I don't, I don't know, like kind of animalistic. I don't know why. That's just how it feels to me. So for the arms, Lightkin gloves was an easy choice because the Meridian Constellation robes have so much fur. I wanted to add some more fur in there. And for the boots, obviously, Atavistic Idol boots. For the Street Scholar Bond, I probably could have chosen a better one for that one. But I just decided to use it just because fuck it, whatever. And I still love that Bond. It's quickly becoming a Bond that I should veto myself from using. But it's so cool that I'm not going to do that. Uh, the one thing you could have done is just switch out the Queen's Valor shader for the Bond. So that way you can have a purple glow instead of a blue. And then for the Praetorian Visage on the Light King Gloves, the reason I did that is because the fur for the Light King Gloves actually takes shaders. So I was trying to find a shader that had a pure white on it because for some reason, the Queen's Guard Valor turns it into a purple, which is not what I wanted. So overall, I do like this ornament. Will I ever use it? That's the problem. Uh, I will probably still pick it up for a fashion stake. And to be quite honest, I'll probably still pick up the, the first ornament just for fashion's sake, but be aware that I fucking hate that. I'm be real with you, man. I'm probably gonna have to fight, like f bully myself into buying it just to have it in case like it changes or whatever. That's kind of like my, my thing is like, I'm being paranoid. Like what if it changes in the future and it looks super dope and I don't want to buy it for six bucks when I could just buy it for Bright Dust, especially since I'm not wasting Bright Dust on the Eververse armor this season, I might as well get it. So we'll probably get it, but be aware that I fucking hate that ornament. But for Phoenix Renaissance, I think it looks super cool. I definitely think it is worth it. It's just, I hope Bungie uh, like reimagines this exotic because this exotic right now is not that great. Like your daybreak projectiles cause targets to scorch on contact, which is cool. Your scorch effects deal more damage and you gain a small amount of melee energy each time your scorch effects damage your target. Did they rework this? I think they reworked this. All right. I'll use it a bit. I don't know if Don Chorus is still like worth it, but I'm going to use it just to see. And if it is, I'm going to fucking like main this because I do think the base look of Don Chorus, I already love it. And the ornament just looks even fucking better. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.